This is one of multiple videos discussing software-defined networking, network programmability, and network automation. In this video, we're going to discuss Mininet. I'm gonna show you how you can download Mininet, integrate it with GNS3, and build OpenFlow networks using Mininet. So what I'll do here is shut down Mininet. And I'll open up VMware Fusion and change the settings of this device. So I'm gonna give the Mininet device more processor cores and I'll give it some more RAM. So I've changed it now to four processor cores and four gig of RAM. That should allow it to support bigger topologies. Now you don't have to do this unless you want to create large topologies. I'll open up a console. And once the PC is booted up, we should see a console connection. So there's our console prompt. I can log in now as Mininet. So Mininet has started up. So let's start with a depth of three and a fan out of three and do a ping all. You can see the hosts are able to ping each other. Net shows us the devices. We've got 27 hosts and 13 switches in the topology. So that's what our topology looks like at the moment. We can zoom in as an example and see the various devices. So here we've got OpenFlow Switch 5 with the three PCs hanging off it. And we can move the devices around. Here is OpenFlow 1, OpenFlow 6, and then OpenFlow 9 and 7. So I'll exit out of Mininet. Let's set the fan out to four. And what you'll notice is we already have 64 hosts. So you need to be careful with this command again, 64 hosts, and we have 21 switches. So I'll reload ODL. There's our topology of switches. Notice the fan out is four. There are four switches connected to the core. I'll exit out of there and set the fan out to let's say eight. So what you'll notice now is we have more hosts created. So we've got 512 hosts in our topology and 73 switches. Reload the topology and there you go. There is our switches. So you can see the core switch has multiple switches hanging off it. In this case, eight, because we did a fan out of eight. And what you'll notice is each of those switches have eight switches hanging off them. If you set a greater depth of, let's say four, and a big fan out, you're gonna end up with many, many devices very, very quickly. But this is an example of how to create very large topologies in Mininet very, very quickly. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.